In 2002, Gorillaz released two albums, their debut and their first B-side album, G-Sides. Now with two albums, why not release a third, remixing their debut album songs by another group? This album I'm referring to is of course Like I Come Home by the Space Monkeys. In this video, I'm going to be going through everything you need to know about the group and what happened to them. In 2002, DJ Garen Galea remixed the Gorilla single Tomorrow Comes Today, called Tomorrow Dub, which ended up being the B-side for the Tomorrow Comes Today single released in 2002. The remix caught the attention of Gorilla's creator Damon Albarn, who liked the dub remix so much that they asked Darren Galea to remix all the Gorilla's album songs. The Space Monkeys consisted of Garen Galea, Richie Stevens and Gavin Dodds. All together formed the virtual band that was the Space Monkeys. The album of course featured Damon Albarn's vocals and melodica lines, but also featured additional vocals from Terry Hall and additional guitar from Simon Katz. Extra instruments were left to Mike Smith, Junior Dan, Phil Soul, Stuart Zender and more, leaving the other workings of the album to the Space Monkeys. In the Gorillaz universe, the band first knew about the Space Monkeys when a fan gave a CD to Murdoch to sign. Under the name The Space Monkeys, of course, Gorillaz didn't even know of them then. The story goes that while Grizz were on tour, the Space Monkeys entered Kong Studios, which was easy due to 2D not locking up the building. The Space Monkeys stole the master tracks from Grizz's debut album and remixed them. Despite stealing from the band, Murdoch, 2D, Russell and Noodle were all pleased with the album, even praising it. Laika Come Home was the finishing project, named after a dog called Laika that went to space. Like I Come Home was a dub remix album consisting of every track remixed and dubbed, except Latin, Simone and Double Bass. Then in July 2002, Like I Come Home was released, reaching 108 in the UK and 156 in the US, only releasing one single, Lil Dub Cheffin, a remix of M1A1 featuring Terry Hall, U Brown and Earl 16. Lil Dub Cheffin reached the best of 73 in the UK. Since the release of Like I Come Home, the Space Monkeys did release one last project in 2002, but nothing since. In 2006, it was rumoured that there will be a Demon Days version set to be released in 2007, but this never happened. Since 2002, only band member Darren Galea went on to do more projects with Gorillaz, playing the turntable in the Demon Days live shows, both in the UK and US. But since 2002, nothing has since been heard from the band, except from band member Richie Stevens, saying that the Space Monkeys would return in 2017, but never did, except for the Gorillaz live band playing the dub reggae version of M1A1 in 2018. Good but since then, according to Jamie, the actual Space Monkeys had left Earth years ago, and the real life members have moved on. But who knows, they may return. But it's not like Like and Come Home was the favoured Gorillaz album, since most people have put it on the bottom of their list when it comes to favoured Gorillaz projects. I hope you liked that video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll be back in the next one.